Good morning, this is Kevin with the Compulsive Investor Channel. I'm uh, heading out this morning to take a look at a couple of properties that I, I might purchase. I actually sold a property for the first time uh, last week. I know I'm a buy and hold guy, so that kind of <laughs> seems counterproductive there. But most of the time, I like to, to buy and hold because that's how you get your cash flow on a property. But every once in a while, you have to make a sale in order to uh, keep your cash flow moving and, and keep uh, headed in the direction that you want to go in. So I made this sale and now I have some cash available to start shopping around. My strategy is to find properties that need work done. I usually look for moderate work, sometimes more extensive. It, it kind of depends on the market. Right now, the, the uh, prices are high, so I'm probably going to be looking for something that um, requires a bit more work than I usually do. So there's no better feeling than being able to uh, turn a house around, rent it out, sell it, um, and make enough of a profit off of that property to buy a couple more, um, sometimes more than a couple more. I'm not expecting much. Uh, the prices for properties are pretty high right now, considering anyway. I mean, you can find some good deals out there, but the uh, the uh, area I invest in in Akron, the, the values don't go up as, as high as they do in some other uh, markets. So even when you sell a property, you do get a profit, but you're, you're not going to get enough to buy um, rent renting properties for that. They're going to find properties that need extensive work, and, and that's okay. I like doing that kind of work. You, you save a lot of money. You can get these properties for cheap because banks won't loan on them. And that kind of puts them in a special category that you um, that only investors can get their hands on them. Because if they need that much work done, a, a bank's not going to loan on it until the work's done. So, and you can't get the loan for the property until you get the approval from the bank. So it's kind of a catch-52 there. You can get these deals for cheap, uh, paying cash, and you renovate them. And like I, I like to do, I rent them out and, and hold them. But as I've already said, sometimes you got to make a sale to keep your cash flow moving. So that is uh, my goal for right now. I just made that sale. Now I'm going to uh, take a look at what's on the, out the market today and see if I can find a deal. When I first looked at this property, I thought it was, um, was a cute little house, definitely. A nice curb appeal, but it was little. It's only one bedroom and a nice little garage. There was a door right up against the one basement window here. It looks like somebody tried to get in. Security light on the back. I don't worry too much about that. I, I usually install those anyway separately like before I rent them. The roof was in good shape. You might have somebody check take a look at that flashing around the chimney. Sometimes an area where moisture or, or water can do some damage. Uh, it has these those uh, glass block windows. I really like those. I put those in my properties. I got a guy that'll do that. Usually get about six, six or seven of them for about twelve hundred bucks, and he comes out there and does a really good job. And and they they look a lot better than uh, the old original windows that they usually have in those old houses. The living room was really small. This would definitely be a, a little bit more difficult to rent. One thing about this property also, it did not have any closets. People like to have closets, especially in the bedroom. But there's no living room closet, nowhere to really store your, your winter coats and stuff. This property has new windows, it looks like too. So there's quite a few uh, upgrades in this property, I, I like that less to work, less to do for the rehab. I noticed there was a little bit of a water leaking at some point there in the kitchen and so this is why sometimes I like to look inside the cupboards and see if there's anything that hidden back in there in, on the ceiling. I, I didn't see anything. It could have been old damage. Or the roof could have just been replaced recently. It didn't look that old. Nice little bathroom. 
We have one of those space saver washer and dryers in there. Those are really nice when you don't have a whole lot of space to work with. So all in all, this is not a uh, too bad of a property, but not a great rental. It's only one bedroom, It'd be for a single person probably. Although rent's creeping up there, so more and more people are deciding to go with smaller properties and taking less space to, just to save money. So it, it, it may rent. I probably wouldn't buy this, but I am going to keep an eye on it. They were asking it was 64, 900, I think, for this property. And that's actually kind of high for a one bedroom right now, I think, in this area. So I am going to keep an eye on it and I'll see what it goes for. The basement, though, was nice because it was dry. Water heater was new. Furnace was a bit old, but those old furnaces tend to last forever, so I probably wouldn't worry about that. Fairly new electrical. PEX looks like it. It, just, it was just replaced with the PEX. I would probably replace that one jack there as well. Looks like they had one, a couple put in. I might put, just pop a new one, one new one up in there in place of that. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and that, that way you won't miss out on any of my future videos. This is Kevin with the Compulsive Investor Channel.